everyone, this is Tammy at Snowstorm Crafts. And if you're new here, welcome. And if you've been here before, welcome back. So today I want to make a fun Christmas Rolodex roundup with you guys today. So I want to grab one of my grungy Rolodexes here. And my friend April sent me happy mail and she coffee dyed this and got it all grungy for me. So I'm going to use this one today. And thank you, April. April, That is awesome. I love it. Love it. Love it. Love it. Okay. So now we are going to grunge it up. So what it is, is just coffee dyed Rolodex. And um, I have some fun things here I want to play with to just kind of collage it up, use a little, do a little Christmas theme on it and go from there. So what I have is some ideology... Christmas ideology, fun things to play with here. So we've got 25, and then I have the just the paper dolls from Tim Holtz, and I like the word wish. I have an envelope. These are my mini envelopes, and um, I made these with you guys the other day, so I'll make sure to put it on the end screen so you guys could come check out how to make these. They're really fun. So I got that that I want to incorporate. I got some coffee dyed fabrics. And if you want to see how I dye and do some fun coffee dyed uh, bundles of fabric. And then I add a little twist to it and add some other fun things to it. I'll put that on the end screen. You guys can come check out how to do this. It's pretty fun. Okay. And I did some a video the other day on uh, making Christmas ornaments and a Christmas things for your junk journal using household items. So I will put that on the end screen and we're gonna use our little snowflake here today. I wanna to incorporate that. And then I just have crackling campfire, walnut stain, some blending tools. I'll probably use my crocodile with eyelet. Um, gonna throw in some eyelash yarn here. And this is just fun fur. And I just get it just at whatever store has yarn and stuff like that. They usually have this kind of stuff. So that's where I got it. Um, probably going to do some stamping and some... So we got stamps and some snowflake stencils. These are super fun. You know what I love about these is that uh, they got big snowflakes on them for big projects. And then for like projects like this, they got little stars and then little snowflakes, different sizes. So I think it's kind of cool combo. And it's just a set of six. And then I got my fun, just uh, just some stamps here. Some I think these would be fun to play with. So we might incorporate some of that. And you never know. We might throw some other fun things in here. So let's just get going here. Oh, and coarse threads. We've got to have our threads. So keep your threads, your yarns, your little scrap, pieces of fabric. All this is just a little goody bin here. Oh, and I'm sure I'm going to put in um, a mini fastener. I had an idea for that with the Tim Holtz. And I got some keys here. I think keys would be fun. I think those would be fun to play with and maybe do a dangler with that. Okay. And I got my Fabrifix glue. I got my art glitter glue. So I think I'm ready. I think I'm ready here. Okay. So what I want to do is... I'm thinking let's start off with, I'm going to move this stuff up here so it's out of my way for a second. But I'm going to start with this and I want to make sure not to compromise the little holes that go into the uh, Rolodex because I want to make sure those are free and open. So I'm just kind of tracing around it here. This is fun to save too, because you can still use that for other projects. Okay, so that'll go like that. And I'm thinking. Maybe cut it about here. Okay. Let's see. Put 
that it would be nice. And I want to do a little layering here. I'm thinking maybe I can do it on top too, but let's see here. Okay, scissors. Still attached. Okay, so we got that. This could be kind of fun to throw in there somewhere. So that's why I love these fabrics. You can just kind of, you know, go through, see what pieces you got. I love that piece. It's cool. Um, I mean, I'm probably gonna get too much out, but it just kind of gives it a variety to look at what you got here. Also got our threads. I want to throw in a little bit of red, a little black, some white and cream colored. Okay. All right. So now I got my art glitter glue. This here, because it can hang off a little too, and I just want to see how I want to layer it up behind it. Okay, so that's like that. only part showing would be the top up here. Something like this. Put a little bit of thread. I mean, we don't need that much, you know. Kind of cut it in half. Fix. And we're just going to layer it up. It's just kind of fun with the thread sticking out. Gives a little more uh, texture. I think that looks really cool. A little more something to look at. I don't need an orange thread in there. Okay. So that's fun. And we can incorporate some of this. love using this stuff is so much fun just gives it so much character I mean look at that isn't that neat so I just went and just glued it all stacked it all together okay all right now I know I want to incorporate this 
let's see, before we do that, let's go ahead and stamp. Okay, let's put on my little stamping block. And this is just permanent ink. put some stuff on the back too. I think airmail would be kind of fun. Oops, wrong way. Whoops. There we go. also have some stenciling that we could play with. That would be cool. Let's see. I'm just going to use the crackling campfire, but we have that here too. That's crackle, crackling campfire. So I wonder if I should grab Let's go ahead and just do the walnut stain, just for something different, you know, a little contrast here. Those, that'll be what's showing because the envelope is going to hide a lot of that. So we'll go to the back here. This little one's cute. layer up the front here. Okay. So I'm going to glue this here and I think we have enough layers behind it. stick out like that. Okay, so that's coming along. Now, let's see. So I know I want this two and five here. And then we got the little girl. So she's going to go tucked underneath here. So I want to make sure the two and the five. So let's see. She's going to get tucked under here and there. Like that. So she'll just nestle in like that. Now I think that's cute, right? Okay. Maybe do just a little bit of walnut here. Girl. 
surround her up a little bit. And then I think some of it's going to stick out the back. So I'll just grudge it up a little. Because on the other side you'll be able to see. I'm just going to give her a little grunge here. Just so it's not so white. Okay, so she's all nestled in there. And that is just so much fun. Okay. Now, let's see. We still got some of this maybe to play with. But I don't really want to cover up too much of that behind it, but let's see. pocket and make sure I'm not covering up the little tabs that gotta go in to the Rolodex so we'll do that and then slide behind the two a little bit what do you think of that I think that looks pretty good Right, I gotta go underneath the two. So we'll get it before it dries here. And to make sure we're not covering her little face up. That's looking fun. So that's kind of neat, huh? Okay. Darn it. I forgot before I put this on here, I wanted to put an eyelet through it. <laughs> I think we can still do it here. Okay, so what do we got? Let's do the 316th. I could go through the whole thing. I like the red, yeah. So we got that. A bit. I need to go grab a bulb pen real quick. I'll be right back. All right, so I got my bulb pens here. Let's see. That's kind of... It's got green. That 
one might be cool. So the green and the uh, red and black beads on it. This one has white. Hmm, kind of like the white. Let's do that one. The little pearls on it, I like that. And then silver. Yeah. So let's do that. Pick out a fun key here. to be too big. Let's see. Well, that's a cute size. It's got a little heart on it. That'd be fun. Okay, so I'm just going to pop it on here. that dangling off there and now this is going to go into the pocket so it's going to be something that'll come in and out and I thought wish was cute so let's get it grunged up here so I'm just using these two the walnut stain and the crackling campfire just give it a little bit of grunge Give a little something. Okay. Now let's see. So we got the little mini fasteners, Tim Holtz, ideology. And I'm thinking, what if we put two on each, just on the top there? So what I like to do is take my little poker tool here that and some packaging. I think that this is, uh, was for my Apple Watch covers and stuff. So uh, that would go like on top and you know, when I bought them. So I keep them because these are great just to go like this for small things. And then you can just go it and poke it. Now they're crooked. <laughs> Did it crooked? Let's see. Maybe I can make it not look so crooked, but that's okay. Even if it is. That's okay. We can even go down a little bit with this one, maybe. really cute. So we got a little fasteners on there. Okay. Let's see. So I can go into the pocket like that. Hmm. Maybe we can decorate it a little, huh? We could do something. 
side. I like this white. sticking in my fingers because I have glue on my fingers. <laughs> okay, so I just put it on that and then it should seep through all of it. So let's see. So that's just something to play around with. Just to do a little little mini ephemera to add to your little pocket here. Much better. Isn't that cute, you guys? So you got your little wish. I'm gonna pull it up just a little bit so you can read it. There. Okay, so we got it all done here, and I think that is really fun to have a little pocket, your little wish, little wish pocket. We got the little girl and the 25, and all our coffee dyed laces and threads and the eyelash, eyelash yarn. I think it all turned out really fun. Our little dangler. So yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. And let's see, let's find the spot. And I hope you found it informational. So there we go, that turned out really cute. And if you could please, subscribe to my channel, hit the notification bell, and you guys can see my next video when I post it. Like, comment, and share, and let's grow together. And keep on crafting.